Skyboxing have given us some really cool RC cars over the last couple of years, including this. And this. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of their latest RC cars. Now before we take a look at what a high boxing have brought to the table this time, I do want to talk about the company. Now I've only ever had nice things to say about high boxing, I really like them as a company, but most importantly, all of their trucks tend to be really, really durable. You can always get spares and there's always upgrades available. They just seem like a really great way for beginners to get into the hobby. And a lot of the time, especially here in the UK, FTX tend to borrow a lot of their designs and they rebrand them with their own logo on them and this is great for us here in the UK because we can always get cheap spare parts and we see this most recently with the FTX Tracer which is essentially just a HBX 16889 which everyone in the RC hobby knows is one of the most cheap and durable RC cars available so back to their brand new truck then now this thing is a 112 scale pickup truck and it's known as the 906A now there's two colors available you can get this thing in blue or you can get it in red and there's also a brushed or a brushless variant so first up let's see what we get in the box so first up we've got the high boxing style transmitter this thing is two channel it takes two AA batteries uh, you've got your usual adjustments on there like your steering trim and this has also got a speed switch so you can adjust the speed if you are a beginner now we've got a nice foam grip on the wheel there which is a nice little addition but these do feel kind of cheap now battery wise we have got a 2s 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery and this should give us decent runtime we have got a usb charger we've also got some spare body clips a decal sheet and as you can see i have already applied some of those to the truck but i haven't applied this one no wimp crossing reach it Finally, a black and white manual, which as you would expect, does have your exploded diagrams and all your part numbers at the back. So let's take a look at the truck then. Now this thing is known as the 906A or the bomber. I think it looks slightly boring, but that's just my opinion. Now the only reason I say it's quite boring is because I find the color scheme to be slightly boring. I think they could have gone for a slightly nicer design, which for me is a bit of a first when it comes to high boxing, because usually I really like the color schemes on their trucks. The 901 Desert buggy looks great and so does the 2996A and after looking at those really cool looking trucks what do you think of this I don't know maybe I'm being slightly harsh drop a comment down below and let me know if you like the styling on this new pickup truck now even though the body is slightly boring to look at I do like the wheels on this I think they're really cool the tires feel nice and soft so they should be nice and grippy we've got a very rigid and firm front bumper that is almost solid plastic so I don't know how long that is going to hold up and on the back again we've got a very hard rear bumper i can't see that lasting very long and that will be disappointing because when it comes to high boxing they're known for being super durable so let's get the body off and let's take a closer look underneath so let's take a look at the electronics first of all then. Now we have got a 2847 3800 kV brushless motor. We've got a two-in-one ESC and receiver. This thing also has a three-wire servo, which is handy if you want to upgrade it later. So moving on, let's talk about the chassis features. So we have got metal oil field adjustable shocks. We have got metal CVD drive shafts at the front, dog bones on the rear, a plastic lightweight chassis, metal diffs and ball bearings throughout. And if we look down down there we have got a metal center drive shaft so I think the first thing we'll do is see how fast it goes on the included battery I'm in a very small car park here but I think this is going to be enough space because I don't think this is going to be too quick now they say this thing will do about 45 kilometers per hour which is about 27 miles per hour so let's find out right so let's see what we can achieve then that is full throttle I've got the GPS running full throttle again I did say we wouldn't need a huge amount of space because I knew it wasn't going to be very quick. Now from what I can remember, I think I managed to achieve a speed of 25, 25 miles per hour with the 901A. It was slightly slower than advertised. What are we going to see out of this? Let's bring it back, let's find out. Are we going to see 25 or more? It handles quite well, and I do like the fact that it is long wheelbase. Right, let's bring it back. 
Okay, so we're gonna hit stop and read. We only got 21, and that's probably because this has smaller wheels and tires. So after doing the 2S speed test, I wanted to see how this thing would perform off-road. And although it does feel slightly underpowered on 2S, it still performed okay, perfectly fine for this location, but it did like to topple. Now on a surface like this, the tyres didn't grip as much as I would have liked them to, and compared to the 901A, I don't think it handles as well as that truck. Now even though this thing is underpowered, with that long wheelbase, it's still quite a lot of fun. Now this thing loves taking a jump or two, and it loves sliding around but look driving this thing around it didn't feel like anything special and looking at that body once again it just looks and feels a bit bland there's certainly nothing crazy to look at here it's not that exciting and unless you really like this body style I don't think you're gonna buy one and my best advice to you would be buy the 901A I forgot to show you the LED lights earlier take a look at those they do look quite cool so I think you guys have pretty much picked up on the fact that I'm not really a fan of this truck. It's a bit boring to drive and it's a bit boring to look at. Now you may disagree, you may absolutely love this thing, but personally, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Now it does feel a bit slow and a bit sluggish to drive around. It doesn't feel like a chore, but it's not as exciting as the desert buggy. And yes, that is only four miles per hour faster, but there's more to this than outright speed. Handling for me is a big one and the desert buggy definitely handles better and we managed to achieve a speed of 21 which is four miles per hour less than the desert buggy but again we have to remember that a thing does have larger wheels and tires so naturally it is going to be quicker i don't know maybe they could have geared this thing slightly higher to make it more fun but it just feels a little bit slow and boring to drive now i want to hear from you guys do you like this pickup truck and would you buy one cheers for watching see you on the next one take care now even though HBX didn't deliver this time, check out their fantastic 29968 monster truck by clicking on the top video or click the bottom video to check out the amazing 901A.